Welcome back. It's 853, and this comedy duo is known for pranks, and politicians are usually at the receiving end of that. Take a look. But nothing's going to stop us. Uh, real quick, before we get started, thank you, everyone. Governor DeSantis, I want to present to you this participation trophy. <laughs> now, it's probably not going to win the election, right? But we're proud of you for trying. There you go. Sorry, buddy. He's special, he's unique, and he's our little snowflake. Thank you. Here you go. Did you want the award? Hi, Jinx. Continue this Thursday in Brooklyn at their upcoming show. So please welcome Jason Selvig and Devram Stiefler, also known as the Good Liars. Good to have both of you on the couch. Were you escorted out by security there? Yes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Somewhat gently. Right. Just kind of ushered out, uh, ushered the, room, out right? the door. Ushered out the door. Okay. And with with Ron DeSantis now out of the race, is he safe from the political jokes? Now all eyes are on the two. Well, I don't, left. Know if, I don't know if it's even a joke. You know, we were just trying to help him out. He I was see. he was in the election. It was obvious he wasn't going to win. Yeah. We wanted him to walk away with something, so Devram gave him a participation trophy. That's right. So. That might be the only thing he got from all his efforts on the campaign mm -hmm. trail. So mm -hmm. we're trying to help a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. is he safe? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no comment. No but this is, but, I mean, it's an election year. Yeah. A gold mine of jokes for you guys. But when it's not... I mean, it's still pretty easy for you to find some stuff to talk about, huh? Yeah, I mean, we, election year, obviously, there's a lot of energy. There's the Iowa caucus, New yeah. Hampshire, like, right. you feel the energy in those those places. But I don't know what changed in, like, 2015. It seems like there's always something in the news cycle about politics. Mm, uh, I don't know yeah. what changed. There's mm. something I, changed. Something but, happened, yeah. and now everyone's paying attention. So, <laughs> yes, there's always something to do. Because yeah. how do you find, where do you decide to go, or how do you decide where to go? Well, I mean, you know, you look at campaign events, you, you look at the news, and then you kind of decide, oh, is this the right location to go? Should we go there? Should we talk to people there? Should we yeah. see if we could hang out with Ron DeSantis in Iowa? And then sometimes <laughs> it works out, sometimes it doesn't. But what's the backstory, right? Well, first off, how did you get that close? Because, like, as journalists, yeah. sometimes you can't even get that close to a candidate. You know, the the big secret is kind of just wandering in and seeing what you what what happens. Looking like you fit in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so just kind of going and seeing okay. in the room. There was also only twenty people there at the Ron DeSantis right. event. So gotcha. The yeah. audience was that. media. So okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I probably looked like I was standing next to someone else's camera. And okay. Oh, like so what's the backstory between the two of you? Like, how did Good Liars come about? We met in the comedy scene here in New York. We were both doing sketch comedy, and then in uh, around the time of Occupy Wall Street, yep. we decided we were going to do like a sketch together. Yeah, we got uh, some thrift store suits and we represented the 1% of okay. the protest. So we protested the protests. We said if they didn't leave, we were going to have to give up our uh, third houses in the Hamptons. Our drug habits were going to take a real hit. <laughs> uh, so we told them they had to pack up and, and get out. Yeah, it was called Occupy, Occupy Wall Street. Right, was oh. I think I remember this, yes. Yeah, and uh, we thought we were doing a sketch, like a joke, but people thought it was real, and like real investment bankers joined our protest wow. when we were kind of just making fun of them to That's their so face. Funny. <laughs> but now it seems like everything has kind of come full circle because you met doing comedy, and now, yeah. you're gonna, now you have a show. Tell us about it. It's called The Good Liars Fix America, okay. and it's at the Bell House this Thursday night, and... Basically, there's there's a lot of issues that are dividing the country. Mm -hmm. And we realized that we've been going out, we've been filming for 10 years. All of this filming is actually research, and we can use the research to solve some of America's biggest problems. Mm -hmm. So we're, we picked five of them. Yeah, and, 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 you know, for example, we're going to solve the gun debate in America mm -hmm. on Thursday night. Mm -hmm. Wow. So if you want to see that, it's That's like breaking pretty news. historic. Big, it's big news, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, it actually took us to an interaction with a politician in Tennessee. We're going to show a never-before-seen clip there Ooh. of that. Exclusive. Okay. That's Exclusive, right. yes. All right. Should have brought it here. I will. Well, here first. <laughs> you know, saving it for the have show. Have us on yeah. tomorrow. <laughs> we'll put it on there. <laughs> hey, uh, we're out of time. A great good stuff for both of you. Uh, enjoy yourself this election year. I'm sure you're going to have a lot of fodder and a lot of material to work with. So, uh, 